Hey guys! This is Laura from Slip Stitch Studios and I've got some exciting news. We just got a whole bunch of samples in from our new product line. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but we have a cool new product line. Everyone's been really enjoying the memes that we've been coming out with over the last year and we've been looking for new ways to get them in your life. And that's what this video is going to be about. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you uh, physical samples of all the stuff that's in the shop right now. So, all right. Well, uh, as you can see, we'll start with this t-shirt that I am rocking right now. Uh, it's backwards possibly for you, but for me it says, I'm on a yarn diet. The more I spend on yarn and supplies, the less I can spend on junk food. So, this is an awesome shirt. I just want you to, to know, this is a, um, let me see if I can get back here a little bit. This is a 3X, okay? And I like it. It's good. It hangs, um, let me see if I can get even further away because it, the zoom on this is a little crazy. This is my yarn shop right now, guys. Isn't this awesome? I'll give you another video with a tour around, but just here's a very slow pan. There's my studio back there. We've got new yarn in the shop. There's a Cindy. <laughs> Just kidding, Cindy. Don't worry. <laughs> Nothing embarrassing. Um, and then we've got the yarn sock wall and the front door. <laughs> and then back to where we started. Hopefully I did that slow enough that it didn't make you all dizzy. Okay. Hopefully this is far enough so you can see how low this is because I really like this shirt. I mean, I'm I love good t-shirts and this is rare. See how like, I'm gonna get really far back here guys, can you hear me? All right, so see, like this is a comfy t-shirt. This is 3X. Um, I'm normally like an 18 uh, in most things. So I, I love it, I love this. It's not too like bulky. I mean, I could probably even do like a, a 2X actually if I wanted to get a little bit more. So let me just pull you back here now. Uh, all right, <laughs> you know, we're, we're like rough and dirtying it today. So this shirt is on the website in a bunch of different designs, and I got to say, I'm really happy with it. It's very soft. Um, it's just got all the things I like, so I highly recommend the shirts. I made sure that the shirts and the sweatshirts that we got go from, I think, small all the way to 5X, so that's really fun. Um, really, you can have it as bulky or as tight as you like it, and that's fun to be able to, you know, wear your funny little memes on your on your shirt. I definitely enjoy it. It's a nice way to spark conversations with people, and uh, and and it automatically they know what you're talking about if they're knitters or crocheters or yarn or crafters as well. You know what I mean? So uh, I've also got just to get through the clothing here. I've also got this the hoodie. Um, the hoodie is awesome. I love the hoodie. It's got that great like cotton soft feel to it and um, It's got you know nice eye cords. I Actually, I thought this was gonna be brighter, you know, cuz I did it on a white, but I kind of like how it's gray actually um, I'm sorry if these are backwards for you guys. This is just how this screen works <laughs> But this says, I'm a knitter, I stab yarn, not people, in case you need a reminder during the day, in case other people need a reminder. <laughs> uh, we actually just had a new meme put up today. Uh, we have two new designs in the shop today. We have um, our feeling stabby, might knit something later, IDK. <laughs> So it goes along with this. It's like, you know, you could have like your friend. You could both be like, hee hee, knitter, stabby. So it's fun. Uh, this is a great jacket. This one is also a 3X. It's actually definitely big on me, um, but super roomy and comfy. And I would not complain wearing it. That is for sure. I would definitely enjoy wearing this on a nice cold night. Um, it's got the front pocket, like the normal hoodie. So you've got your little pockets. Um, front project bag. <laughs> so this is awesome. I highly recommend the hoodies and the t-shirts. One of the best things about them is they're all made in the U.S. This is why I started doing this is um, in the past you had to get it manufactured somewhere else and it was just not something I was interested in. Being a small business manufacturing in Huntington Beach, California, you definitely it just kind of uh, diminishes the importance of it if I'm providing things that are 
made out of the country. So really happy to be supporting Made in America products um, moving forward. So this, these are the two clothes items. We do have socks, which have not come in yet. So stay tuned for that. Um, let's see next. <laughs> okay. So today I got the pillow in, um, which there is a new pillow in the shop as well. Excuse me. Uh, today we got, uh, but <laughs> a very popular meme over the weekend. It was kind of fun. It was just like, well, it's not kind of fun. Obviously, it's fun because it's popular, right? Uh, <laughs> it, it said something like, at least it's not drugs, I whisper to myself as I buy six skeins of yarn that I do not have a project for. At least it's not drugs. <laughs> right? So I made a new pillow for that. It's awesome. There's also uh, a notebook that I'm waiting on the sample for and a... Uh, coffee cup, a, uh, what do we call them? You know, one of the ones you can take with you, not the ones that have the, uh, the one, one with the top. I can't remember the name of it right now, but we have a coffee mug that you can take in the car with you and a uh, zipper pouch, which I'm going to show you. I'm really interested in the zipper pouches and uh, a bag and something else. <laughs> Go look. It's fun. The link's in the, in the uh, description here. So here is the pillow. This is so fun. It's a nice canvas pillow, guys. Um, it's a lumbar pillow, so it's a great one. And it's actually very firm, very well made. I love that it's this like canvassy material, so easy to wash. Guys, get this. Invisible zipper with a removable pillow, so you can wash it super awesome and I right now we have one for knitting and crochet in this design and then we have the the new one where it could be drugs um, and we're glad it's not um, so this this one says I can't stand a messy house not enough to actually get up from my knitting to clean it but enough to gaze out disapprovingly from time to time it's the perfect pillow to just throw on your couch when company's coming over and you're like, screw this, I am not cleaning for you people. So, warning. <laughs> I love this pillow. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be making a lot more of uh, things in this pillow. Definitely. So, that is a big one. Next, let's talk about the mugs. All right. So, you think I was going to be like super positive about every single item? Well, I'm going to take one off my shop actually because I'm not very happy with it. Um... It's not terrible, but it's not the quality that I like. So we're going to start with that one. This is how it came. Eh, good box. All right. Nice. Very low maintenance. Um, it has a pretty cool little thing in here. Let's see. Now, all of this stuff came pretty fast. Um, the shirt and the hoodie came within like three days. Okay. I ordered it and I got it. The bags, um, the shoulder bags that I'm going to show you in a minute, the one that's right behind me over there, those came second fastest. Then, uh, the mugs and, and the other stuff I ordered a little bit later. So it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but just so you know, this stuff all comes with like in a week, week and a half, and it's all made in the USA. It's so amazing. So that's a really cool deal. You can get some really fun presents for people and it's going to be fast. So, okay, so I'm taking this out of the box, and it's in this little thing. Now, this is the color-changing mug that I got, and I'm not super pleased with it just because, hmm, hmm, you know, it's like the Ovaltine uh, decoder ring situation, okay? It's just, it's just not like what I was hoping for. This is kind of cool. It, like, presses on here so that it keeps it, you know, secure in the box, and, and hopefully nothing can get to it, but, hmm. So... This is the mug. Let me see. It's actually really easy to get it like streaks on it, which is also another reason why I'm taking it off. Not my favorite. But if you put hot water in this, I'm not even going to do it because it's not that enjoyable. I was going to make a video of it and then I was kind of like, I couldn't even like feign my disappointment. I was all, hmm, I may not be doing this any longer. So I'm not even going to do it right now, guys. Sorry. Uh, just know, see, you can see it already. It's not even a secret. So this is fun. 
probably auction this off. I mean, it's still a great drinking receptacle. And if you put a hot beverage in it, it will be very loud telling people that you stab yarn and not people, which is good. Um, but yeah, not my favorite. So I'll be taking that off the website. So if you want one with my raving review, go ahead and grab one right now because it will be probably off by the end of the day. Uh, then we have the stainless steel mug, which is really cute. Um, first off, it came in this, which was kind of cool. Um, definitely a great way to package it just because it was like very secure and very minimal, you know, I'm sure there's another way to repurpose this. In fact, I mean, it's got a cool little shape in there. I don't know. It's always interesting to me to see how other people pack things, you know? So this is the mug. Super cute. You can see it's like a little sticker there. I got to peel off. But um, it's a, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, ceramic enamel, okay, around a steel, uh, stainless steel cup. Now, this would not go in the microwave. <laughs> um, but, I mean, it's really cute. It would be really great as a pencil cup or, you know, for your kids. Oh, my goodness. These are adorable. Maybe not all of the memes would be kid appropriate, but we're working on it. We're getting more, but this is really fun. I like it. It's a little, um, it'd be a great, great water cup. Maybe, um, if you keep some water next to the, to when you're doing your, your tooth, your toothbrushing and stuff, you know, it's a good little, so this is nice. I like this one. Definitely staying in the shop. Love, 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 love the quality. Love that it's made in the U S. Um, I loved how fast it came. I loved the packaging. Nice job. All right. What's next? Okay. Next, I'm going to show you the tote bags. Now, the tote bags were very interesting. They're 20 bucks, okay? I've got a ton of designs in there already, and I'm still working on more. In fact, if you have any suggestions, please send me, because I am really enjoying this. The, the, the whole app that I'm using, the whole, like, um, print-to-order app is actually very enjoyable to use, and it makes me feel good, because, you know, I've been making memes for a long time now, and while I make them for your enjoyment, um, it's kind of nice to be able to use them for other things because a lot of times when I've been making the memes, people are like, oh, I wish I could have this on something. And I'm like, yeah, it would be fun. But I mean, how many stickers do you really need? Now stickers are coming. So, you know, if you need some, I'll be your girl. So anyways, let's talk about the tote. I want to show you first off how crazy big this tote is. It's like crazy big. Um, here's my tote. Okay. Let me back up here so you guys can fully see it. Here's my studio tote. Now this, this is $115. It has all the bells and whistles. You've got, it's a box bag. It sits up. The bottom of the bag is incredibly sturdy. You've got, you know, it'll stand up by himself. It's got a extended top so that everything's secure in it and it goes above the tote. Isn't that nice? See, it also has, comes with one of these tots that clips on inside. This is a very high quality tote, you guys, handmade in Huntington Beach and great fabric. It's got canvas on the inside. You know, we, we really take our time and I don't know if you, if you've been around for a while, we actually changed the handles to a cotton handle from the, uh, it was like a poly handle before. So now it's a nice cotton one and I'm really loving this. This is definitely a great upgrade. We did not change the price for that. It's just 115 now, um, now and forever, <laughs> um, hopefully. <laughs> so this is our tote, okay? It is worth the 115. I promise you, you will enjoy it. It fits multiple projects. It's got multiple pockets. It has bells and whistles like uh, non-committal yarn guides, okay? So I just want you to keep that in mind when I show you this $20 tote, which is also quite awesome. So here's my tote. All right. Here is this amazing, oop, let me show you the right pretty side. Here's the amazing $20 tote in the shop that says funny stuff. Now this is like an epic, like if you want to, if you, you know, we got to have disposable bags or not disposable bags. You know what I mean? Reusable bags now. 
and this will fit a lot of groceries. You go to the farmer's market with one of these things, I am impressed, honestly. I mean, you can see it's quite large. It's a little bit taller than the one that I, that, than, excuse me, my studio tote. And you see, it's nice. It's got bright colors. I really love how this came out. And it's just such a great one. So I'm going to show you a couple more. Here's the, um, I'm a knitter. Here's, I'm doing the best with what I have in this moment, but I'm going to need more yarn. It's a typical feeling, right? So these are awesome. I highly recommend these. These have been selling really well in the shop, actually. I would love to hear your reviews on it if you've gotten one of these and tell me what you think because I'm impressed. It looks like I can wash this. I mean, it's a nice, I really do like this canvas. Um, they're, they're printing all of this on canvas which is so nice it's it's like I mean that's the thing that I'm loving about this and why I have it in my shop is because the quality is just not something it's not like I'm just like oh I printed some stuff and now you can buy my swag on a thing like no it's like this is actually quality stuff so it makes me really happy that we've found such a great uh, partnership in this so these are the totes 20 bucks in the shop just check the link in the listing here and now, let's see, uh, mouse pad. Okay, so the mouse pad came in, and I want to show you, because this together with a zipper pouch, which I'm going to go into, is really cool. Um, look, you can get matching. <laughs> so cute. So this is a really cool design that um, I purchased from, I think, somebody on Etsy, and I got the license to be able to make things with it of course so i love it it's a beautiful design with the circular needles and the yarn hearts really cool right and so this is a uh a mouse pad and you can see the thickness i have my mouse pad that i purchased i think at staples or something a while ago i have it right next to it so you see the thickness i've been using this mouse pad for the last week i love the texture I love how bright and saturated this went. Do you see that? Super bright and saturated. Great, 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 great. Hey, another mouse? Just for, you know, effect. So that is the mouse pad. Now, when I got, I got these today. That's how excited I am. I'm like, today, I'm doing it. I'm going to show you guys. So I got these today, and I love this zipper pouch. In fact, you know what? I did not grab one of my zipper pouches. Hold on one moment. Okay, so I want to show you the difference between these two zipper pouches. This is my handmade in Huntington Beach in beautiful, awesome fabrics. Um, they don't all have a statement on them, but they're very fun, right? This is a beautiful nebula one that is available in our shop. Uh, my, my zipper pouches, this is the reason why I got these, by the way, is because they're gusseted like I like, which means that they stand up on the table. Mine have a nice gusset. You can see it's a little bit wider of a gusset here because I like to have a nice stable bottom. They're also interfaced, okay, and they're lined perfectly, okay? They're beautifully sewn. Olga is a, mwah, she's a masterpiece, I love her. So these are my zipper pouches, okay, and they're $24 in the shop, and I promise you they're worth it, okay? They're beautiful and wonderful and the texture is great. Now, these are also worth it, and these are also awesome. These are 15, and they're really cool. So you can see the difference of the size is much larger. This is a project bag, okay? This is definitely a project bag. Anybody want to guess how many skeins of yarn I just fit in this? Let me see if you've, uh, anybody out there want to wanna tell me? One, two, three, 17? No. I have three skeins of beautiful Anzuli yarn in this. I've got one, two, three skeins. And it still closed up. How amazing is that? I mean, this is a project bag, okay? And I am liking it. It's lightweight. 
it's not interfaced, okay? Um, it's, it's, but it's made with the canvas. And it's a double-sided canvas, so it's black on the inside. It looks like they used a serger. And let's see here. Okay, comes a little tag. I just ripped that out. I'm going to show you something because when I got this, I got another one because I got two because I wanted to see first how this ink saturated. Very important, you guys. I didn't want to be selling you guys stuff that turns out wonky. Um, the only thing that I could possibly say about this, hold on, I accidentally pressed something. There we go. Um, Oh, hi, James. <laughs> uh, so the only thing I could possibly say about this is that the bottom is too small, in my opinion. I mean, it works for what it works for, right? It, I think, it, I mean, it's so big that it would be really cool if the bottom was just a little bit bigger. Now, I'm all about those DIY things, and the second that I saw this, I was like, hmm, I wonder. So I'll have a video up on my website in the listing to show you how I did this. But I want to show you what I did with this one. Do you see? It's a little bit. I got some stuff in it right now. But you can see I've, I've taken off a little bit of the height. But look at the bottom. See that? Meow, meow, meow. And I did a quick video on how to do this. Very simple. If you have a sewing machine or if you're handy with it, with a sewing needle, it, this really brought this bag to life. In fact, I wish that they did this automatically, but I can see the, the, the awesomeness in, in either way, you know? So this versus this, right? Let me see. Right side by side here. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. See? All I did was uh, extend the little triangles at the bottom with uh, about four inches. So I'm going to show you because this is very easy. All I did was I took, let me show you before and after here. Now they used a serger for this um, and I did not because sergers and I do not get along. So I do the double stitch and sometimes I can do it overlock, you know, um, stitch on with my, with my sewing machine. But honestly, I don't think it's that necessary. If you've got a nice strong stitch and then like maybe just a small, um, 2.5 stitch, stitch length. I mean, I just use pinking shears very quick and dirty. You know what I mean? And I am just so impressed. Um, it's, it's normally with an overlock, right? So I just, got my so my my ruler out and did a little bit lower and then just sewed it and then with the pinking shears just to make sure it doesn't fray but I was just like this is so easy I love it and I wanted to show you I've got I mean this this could be like the same size as my sock bag kind of you know it's got a nice <laughs> trying not to say anything terrible right now a nice giant hmm. so so look, I've got my ball of yarn and I've got a project on double points with a needle nook in there. Look at this. Look at this. Boop. Boop. And room to grow. Room to grow. There's a room for project in there. There's a room for your notion stuff. There's so much room in this little little guy. I am absolutely loving it. And if I uh, if I didn't say it already, but I think I did, 15 bucks. 15 bucks. This is so awesome. Um, manufacturing is not as cheap as it used to be. <laughs> so doing this and being able to get something that's like mass produced, I'm pretty sure they just mass produce them and then they print them, um, which is great. I mean, that's the best way to do it. You can do it in bulk. You can hopefully pay a living wage if they're working in the U S which is the whole goal of that. Um, and then, and then you guys get reasonably priced, awesome tools and supplies and things for your, for your craft. So I think I got everything. Did I do everything? I think I did everything that we've got so far. So those are our print to order stuff, things right now. I just wanted to give you a nice quick uh, rundown of everything. This will be up on my YouTube. It'll be up on the website so that more people can watch. I don't want to ramble on too much, but tune back in later. I'm going to give you a much more 
a, a clear tour of my yarn shop. And I've, we've got new yarn in. We're going to be having uh, new kits coming out. I have a wonderful collaboration going on with Yarnier that I'm working on right now. So I'll be in the July Yarnier box, which is so awesome. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on. So please uh, like, subscribe, uh, share with as many people as you can. It is uh, not an easy time right now. So anything you can do to help uh, keep our community strong is so important and so appreciated and believe me when you spend money with small businesses it really does make an impact so i hope all of you are having a wonderful tuesday back from your long weekend and i will see you again next time thank you bye